What's up guys, one more city right guys, a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today we're going to be talking about a matchup that some fans might not want to even think about. It's the 11-0 undefeated Steelers versus the 4-7 and tied for the top of the NFC East Washington football team. <sighs> the stakes are high for this game because... Cole McCoy is not a bad quarterback by any means. He's not Daniel Jones, but he's not a bad quarterback. So the Giants are in decently good hands with him. And we're in, and so we need to stay neck and neck with them. But here's a catch. The Steelers are poised to lose. I think they're due a loss at some point. And I don't see why we can't be the team that does it to them. They're on a really short week, an awkward week. They lost a day of practice, which was Wednesday, because that's, that's like a Monday for football players. That's the day where, you, where the first day of the week you come in, you, insta- you work on installing the game plan, and that's what that happens. But they didn't get that week here. So we got on a short week. We've had over a week to rest and prepare for a big way to match up. And if you didn't watch the Wednesday football game, you're probably better off because it was the sloppiest football game I think I've ever watched. But what you did see, if you're a Washington fan, which is promising, was this team's beatable. If this Ravens team that's so riddled with COVID and COVID and actual other injuries, and they're hanging in that much against an 11 and 0 team, I don't see why we fully healthy for the most part can't take them on either and possibly win and that that's what that's what it seems like um the thought is around the media is Steelers should win well Washington could win also and that's surprising they're even letting us have this conversation I guess because we got rid of the name they're open to talking about us in a better fashion I guess I think a name should justify how much they talk about us but welcome to 2020 so anyway, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a big game on Monday night, well tonight, and uh, I'm excited for it. I think uh, you never wish injury upon anybody in the league or in general, but but we need all the help we can get to possibly win this game. And Bud Dupree going down is a help for us. It's, I, I'm wishing him well with his ACL recovery, but you know him and Watt make that amazing team so if you get if you knock one of them off then the other one's gonna have to take more of a load which I mean he TJ White could probably handle I'm sure he can handle it but you know that chemistry that has been working for 11 games is now kaput so that might knock them off uh, they have a good run defense they have one that they had a third ranked defense we have fourth this is why I think it'll be such an even game because it's just gonna be such a defensive game kind of like the Wednesday one was, but not as sloppy. Because, and I and I think we can stop James Con James Connor and Snell. Is that the other guy's name, yeah. But not they could probably also stop Gibson or Barber, McKissick. See, we both have a running back room that's filled people we can at our disposal. Their their gain is they have much more receivers than we do, like high skill level receivers, because they have James Washington, Deontay Johnson. Chase Claypool, Juju Smith-Schuster. There's more I can name if I wanted to that have just come out and showed out. But, you know, we have a very talented few receivers in our own room. We got Steven Sims, Cam Sims, Terry McLaurin. These guys maybe not, are, not, are not at the level. I mean, Terry is, but some of these other guys are not at that level that they need to be to match with the Steelers. But I've always said, for Washington to win, especially this season, we don't have to play great. We just have to play good enough. We have to do enough to put a product on the field that's watchable. And I think that we can do that Sunday, Monday. And I think it's going to be a good game, hard fall game. It's going to be a close game. If we win, it's going to be a small win. If they win, it's going to be a small win. I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think the final score, both scores will be in the 20s. I don't give a final score prediction because I'm not about – final score predictions because you can never tell but it'll be a small victory for either team like in uh, the space between points wise 
and our defense is flying right now. I think Cowboys really just help develop chemistry. Same thing I said for the Cowboys game when we wrecked them the first time. You're like, congratulations, you wrecked a team that's in shambles. I'm like, you're right. But we beat a team in shambles so much that it could actually build chemistry among our guys. Like Jeremy Reeves got some playing time and really showed out. Cameron Curl really showed out. Montez Sweat freaking showed out. And Chase Young's just hungry, you know, for more. And our whole defense is. So, to think that just because we beat a sh team in shambles means we're not a, that good, I think that's an irrelevant conversation. I don't think you can actually have a competent conversation with that. I think we're both two close teams. They're obviously the better team. They're obviously picked to win. They're, most of the time, I'll be honest with you, they're probably going to win. I'm predicting them to win, us to lose. But that's not me saying I don't think we're going to win. I think we had the opportunity to, but if you just have to, you have to like just sit down, look at it in a real way. It's like, I mean, it's the eleven and those Steelers, and what a four and seven Washington team. We have no business winning this game. But a lot of people around the media are saying the Steelers are due for a loss, and why not us? Why not us? Why can't we be the team that delivers this loss to them? Just a thought. So, at that. I hope I gave a good instruction for this week's game. If you heard any background noise, it's my cat. She is running around the room like a chicken with her head cut off. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell button to so be notified every single time up with a brand new episode of Washington Station to my channel. Um, it's December, so a lot of Christmas songs are coming to the channel now. I'm sure you've seen like, uh, I Need You Christmas and Start at the Manger. A lot more coming, and I'm excited for that. And I'll catch y'all later. I'm Will Morris. I'm out. Peace.